Let us verify Rolle's theorem for the function fx equal to e to the power minus x sin x in the interval 0 comma pi. So we are given fx equal to sin x by e to the power x in the interval 0 comma pi. Now, if we want to verify Rolle's theorem, we need to make sure that three criteria are satisfied. First one being f is continuous. You observe that f is quotient of sin x by e to the power x. We know that sin is continuous and exponential function e to the power x is also continuous and quotient of continuous function are continuous provided denominator is not equal to 0 and e to the power x is not equal to 0 f is continuous we know f is continuous because it is quotient of continuous function because it is quotient of quotient of it is quotient of continuous function and e to the power x is not equal to 0 for any real x for any real x Okay, first point f is continuous. So, okay, we accept that it is continuous. It is continuous throughout r. So, it is continuous in 0 comma pi as well. Next, we need to show that it is differentiable. Of course, f is differentiable. Again, it is quotient of differentiable function because it is quotient of differentiable function in the interval 0 comma pi. In fact, it is differentiable throughout r. What about f at the end point? f of 0 equal to sin 0 by e to the power 0 which is equal to 0. What about f of pi? f of pi equal to sin of pi by e to the power pi. Again, this is 0. Okay, now all the three criteria are satisfied. F is continuous on the closed interval, differentiable. Okay, we wrote it co closed interval, but it is enough if we just include the open interval only. No need to show the differentiability at the point 0 and pi. We, we don't have to show the differentiability at the end point. Now we further observe that F0 and F pi are equal. So those three criteria, uh, if it is satisfied, then Rolle's theorem is applicable. So that imply f0 equal to f pi the value of the function at the end point are equal so we can say that rolle's theorem is applicable in this case therefore by rolle's theorem so let's apply rolle's theorem by rolle's theorem there exists a constant so by Rolle's theorem, there must exist a constant c such that f dash c equal to 0 and c belong to that interval, open interval 0 comma pi. Let's find such a constant c. Rolle's theorem guarantees us existence of a such a constant. So we should be able to find that constant. Now, fx equal to e to the power minus x times sin x. It is a product of two functions. So we can find f dash x or derivative of fx equal to uh, d dx of e to the power minus x times sin x. Now it is of the type u times b. So first function times derivative of second function. So e to the power minus x. It is a product of two functions. So first function keep it as it is. Derivative of second function derivative of sin x plus derivative of first function d dx of e to the power minus x multiplied by sin x. So one at a time. First one, you keep it as it is. Differentiate the second one. Again, differentiate the first one. This time, keep the second one as it is. Now, derivative of sin x is simply cos x. So you can write cos x e to the power minus x we copy as it is derivative of e to the power minus x is minus of e to the power minus x sin x we copy as it is 
Now we see that we can take e to the power minus x common and we will be left out with cos x minus sin x. That's our f dash x. But we want f dash of c. So we can simply write f dash of c equal to e to the power minus c cos of c minus sin of c. Now we want f dash c equal to 0. And f dash c must be equal to 0 and c must lie on that open interval 0 comma pi and f dash c equal to 0 equal to 0 if e to the power minus c times cos of c minus sine of c equal to 0 but e to the power minus c can never be equal to 0 so cos of c must be equal to sine of c or in other word tan of c must be equal to 1. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible for many different choices of c. Let's write some where we c is equal to pi by 4, 10 pi by 4 is 1 or uh, 5 pi by 4 or minus 3 pi by 4 or minus 7 pi by 4 or so on. So many different choices of c are possible. We just need one constant c such that f dash c equal to 0 and that c lie between 0 and pi. Does such a constant exist? Yes. Clearly, pi by 4 is greater than 0 and less than pi. So we have determined c equal to pi by 4 uh, and f dash c equal to 0 and c belong to the interval 0 comma pi by 4. So we have verified Rolle's theorem. In other words, we have exactly determined that constant c so that f dash c equal to 0.